people need to get to know the personalities of the Bible. And I think that kids would be really good to listen to them because Moses, you know, Abraham, all these guys, that one day they're going to be able to minister like them. I mean, the Bible is very clear about personalities, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that uh, with us here at Calvary Chapel, people are, we don't even know who's coming here, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we found out there's a lot of different people coming for the teaching of the Word of God, and that's always been our standard mm -hmm. here at Calvary, that it's important to know God's Word, to read, to pray, mm -hmm. and to seek the Lord, and that's been the goal of this church, completely, always. Yeah, and I think that right now, with all that's going on in the world, we had a heavy show last week, and we were really calling out like what's taking place in our nation in the world today as is there's this glorification of sin mm. and we have always been a, a church that teaches the bible that it's not our opinion it's what the bible says genesis to revelation and the bible is going to bring offense because you're never going to be able to justify your sin we spoke about this not only last week when you were teaching but also with our staff i'm going through the book of romans right now again and the first few chapters is all talking about sin um but, you know, the world, they don't want to hear that they are in sin. Mm -hmm. um, but we ha you've How been to get out of sin? <laughs> yeah, you, you've been speaking a lot, even through your social media, of the importance of standing for truth and righteousness. And there are many that maybe might be failing this test right now. Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, there's so much sin in, even in the government, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, I was yesterday telling my wife that, you know, we have here the freedom of people to destroy kids, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh, Jesus is very clear about that. And I don't think that they care about it. Mm -hmm. They just want to be known in this world that, you know what, I'm a transsexual, I'm a homosexual, I'm a lesbian, and look, I've adopted these kids, you know, and I'm going to bring them up, but you're going to bring them up what, to destroy their lives, mm. you know? Yeah. And I mean, one day, you know, I mean, I'm going to be gone pretty soon, and then you guys have mm -hmm. children, What's going to happen to your children when they get married mm -hmm. and they see what's going on and they're going to school here, they're going to school here, and I mean, they're hearing all these things on radio, going to church. Churches are changing rapidly too, so I'm concerned about that. You know, uh, somebody just sent a post <coughs> this morning and it showed, I think it was a Nickelodeon, I mean, Nickelodeon's just wacky now. I mean, growing up as a kid, you know, it was just a thing f for kids, but they have so much bad branding on there. My kids don't watch Nickelodeon, but... You have to be... Uh, even um, last night, my children were watching something, and um, this little character, it's a boy character, was talking about how he loved another boy character. And um, I was just like, dude, boom, let's address this immediately. But you can't just set your kids in front of the TV or in front of the iPad and like walked away and think that this world is not going to brainwash them. You have to be alert. You have to be aware because the world is going to manipulate and mold your children's minds. And if you are not there to invest truth into their minds, man, it's just sad because they're subject to this deception in the world right now.